Okay, in other news, we have more dragon riding customizations. Yes, yes. So this is the Windborne Velosa Drake. So we checked out the uh, some of the Proto Drake customizations. Uh, those were great. Day, hey, welcome, man. Yeah, some of the uh, some of the Warlock. Sorry, not Warlock customization. Some of the uh, Proto Drake customizations last time. Now this one is the Windborne Drake. So this is the skeleton of the Windborne Drake. This is what he looks like. Man, they made it look undead here. That's very cool. So the uh, so some examples, random examples of the Windborn right here. So these are basically like just kind of examples. And this one again looks undead. It looks like they made the mount undead at this point. But you can tell like again these are all the same dragon, but customized in different ways, and they can they look like completely different dragons. I love the new uh, dragon customization looks. These are great. Okay, so armor color. Again, uh, probably some of the same stuff that we saw last time. You have your different tints of gold and silver and bronze. Um, a lot of, I mean, you know, pick pick your flavor. Pick your flavor. A lot of this stuff looks great to me. Back customization here. So looking at the back, probably again like the Proto Drake customizations. What's the difference here? Oh, I see. Oh, we got the uh, the the fin. Very nice. Got the serpent fin. The uh, the aquatic fin, it looks like. Oh, the patch of fur. The soul patch for the dragon. The dragon soul patch. Very nice. Plated armor. Spikes, of course. Spikes on spikes is what we like to see with our dragons. Oh, the feathers. We didn't see any of this for the proto-drakes. Oh, wow. These are like straight-up feathers. That's cool. So a lot of back customs. Again, the feathers is something new. We didn't see any of feathers with the proto drake. That's interesting. Okay, body armor. Okay, so this just looks like unarmored saddle here. Okay, this boy's got the armor on the tail, on the on the arms, on the legs. Okay, that's it. There's it. There's just those those two pictures. No armor or with armor. I mean, who who wouldn't want the armor? And remember, some of these armors and things will be unlockable through, like, in-game achievements and stuff. Like I said, Gladiator and things will unlock new armor sets to put on your dragon. So it'll be, like, almost like a The Witcher, right? Where, like, you've done some kind of achievement or killed some kind of boss and you could show it off on your mount. Kind of like I was saying The Witcher, you know, you, you put the head of the thing you killed hanging off the side. Great stuff. Love to see it. Okay, crests. Okay, so this is the stuff on top of the head here. Okay, we got that aquatic fin. A shorter aquatic fin. <laughs> Looks like a little mohawk. The plates, the plated scales there. That's a nice one. Oh, spiky boy. You wouldn't want to pet this one to tell him, good boy. Got a little spiky boy there. And then the feathers. Again, the feathers look very detailed. I kind of like the feather looks on these ones. We didn't see any feather stuff on the uh, on the proto drakes, but this one's got looks like you can really feather it out. Very cool. Okay, ears. Oh god, I'm not even gonna say anything. That's the that's the standard ear. Not gonna say what it looks like. There we go. We got a uh, got again aquatic ear looks like more aquatic looking ears. These just remind me of aquatic stuff. Look at uh, the elven ear. You can make your dragon look like an elf. The spikes. I mean, who wouldn't want? The spike ear. And there we go, more spikes. Yeah, good stuff. Spikes on spikes. Forget the ear. Who needs to hear? Just put a spike. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> I'm in. Alright, eye slits. Eyes, eye color slit type. Again, so many different eye color uh, variations. I love this stuff. The customization is, is never ending. Tons of different eye colors. The eye glow. We saw a lot of these with the proto drakes again. Just like, you know. Come just a servant. crazy amount of customization. We have a realm to destroy. Osis, thank you for the follow and welcome to our scourge. Welcome, welcome. Great stuff with this. Love the different eye glows. And then the cross type. So again, I guess you can pick a different eye slit type. So you got, you know, the bigger slit here. And then the smaller one here. You pick. You pick.
Nice, we got a lot of priests today for this run. And then eye color, glow type, the slit, and then, okay, oh, the fur color. Oh, so you got the tuft of fur around the neck. Different colors you could pick here. Not, not, not a lot of color variety, actually. This is kind of just all, like, natural-looking colors. Nothing crazy like purple or pink or anything. Ambrass. <laughs> yeah, the eye slit, not the eye shape. Yeah, we got a helm here. Nice helm. Are they, I haven't, we haven't seen a lot of helm variation, really. We've just been seeing, like, the one helm for each mount. But I'm sure more of those are going to come with achievement. And the cool thing is, like, this customization stuff, they can unlock more as the exp expansion goes on. Yeah, the slits are nice. I agree. The slits are cool. But I was saying the, um, the horn, the, uh, the armor sets and all that stuff, like, they can unlock more with each patch, right? Like, new customization options and things, new achievement options, all that stuff. Um, so this, this could be, like, a never-ending customization throughout the expansion. Horn color. All of it looks great. Very horny. Very horny. Okay, different types of horns. Here we go. This is important. I mean, I don't know what's more important than your snout or your horns on your dragon. That's going to really make or break your dragon. Pick the right horns and this baby's going to be sexy. We got the twisters. So we got the standards. We got the twisters. We got the stubs. The little stubby boys. We got the, uh, the ram. We got the ram. Oh, we got the in, the, uh, the the intense ram. Oh, we got the forward facing. Very nice. We got the Rudolph. We got the Rudolph. You want you want the red nosed reindeer dragon? Here he is. Here he is. And then it looks like we are uh, it's back to the standard. This is a little hook boy. Oh no, we still got more. The swoop back, double horn. We got the quad horns. Jesus, my mind is in the gutter this morning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is nice. This is nice. The quad horn. Very cool. A lot of horn customization options. I uh, like this stuff. Okay, patterns. This is These are a bit hard to see. You see the difference here on the neck. Where else? On the shoulder, it looks like. That's the main place I'm seeing. that. Oh, on the tail, even. There's a bit of a difference here. The little stripes. Let's see, then we got spots going down the sides here. Bigger spots. And then that's it. Got like four options here, and one of the options is nothing. Interesting stuff. Okay, color types. Like, basically, like the different dragon flights here. Find the difference is like playing Where's Waldo. Yeah, yeah, with the, I agree, with the patterns... It's very hard to tell what the difference is. It's just a very subtle thing that you're going to be picking there. All right, color. I love the black, actually. The black looks very cool. Got the black, blue, bronze, green, and red. Of course, the different dragon flights. We got a... Is this a different shade of blue? A baby blue? Yeah, it is. A different shade of blue. This is a lighter blue, and then we got the albino. We got the albino boy. Let me fast forward this. Yeah, the albino, the albino boy looks pretty cool, too, actually. We saw up at the top, somebody took pick the white color made their, their dragon almost look undead. Skin scale colors. I, I haven't understood, like, what the difference is here. The scale colors? What are they changing? It looks the same as the... I've seen these options. Oh, hold on. Look at the neck here. You see the neck? Right? And then look at it here. They're scales. So I guess this is the same things, but it, instead you have scales all over your dragon. You see the neck, the difference in the neck between here, where you got scales, and here, where it's very smooth. Interesting. So basically you could pick all the same colors, but in a scaled version. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is a big one here, the snouts. The snouts. <laughs> The snouts are cool because, I, I mean, this completely makes the dragon look different. We got a long, we got a long boy hook snout here. This looks like some kind of dog or shark snout. This is an interesting one. Come 
Let us lay waste to this realm. Oh, David Cost. Oh, then David Cost subbed on YouTube. Thank you so much, David. Not sure if you're in here, but thank you for the sub. Yeah, crazy stuff. And if you haven't seen our YouTube channel, check it out. I mean, if you're watching it right now, because this is going to be posted on there. Welcome. Uh, we post our morning conversations from Twitch every morning on YouTube, so check it out. Yeah, the uh, the snouts are a big difference maker. Oh man, this is an extra long boy hook. Wow, this is this is like unlike any dragon we've seen in the game yet so far. That's a that's a crazy looking snout. And then this one straight up makes it look like a bird. We got a hook boy snout. You can make your you can make a pterodactyl. This literally makes your dragon look like a pterodactyl. That's pretty cool. Very cool snout variations. Very different, you know. Like like I was saying, from here to here looks like a completely different dragon okay tails the feathers again I actually really like the feathers on this on this dragon mount uh, this dragon model because again we didn't see feathers on the proto drake but you can put them basically on the back on the head on the neck and on the tail on this one are the are the links not working yeah I know I'm seeing that where's the bot links yeah, they're not working. Where's our bot? Oh, he's not even in here. Looks like our bot is down today. Oh no, he took the day off. He's like, fuck it, it's Friday. I'm not coming to the chat. Yeah, stream, stream bot isn't up. He's not up. I have to check out what's wrong with him. Okay, we got the feathers. We got just the nothing. The stub tail, nothing at all. We got the aquatic tail. The very aquatic tail. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and then the fur. We got for the furries out there. And then the spike tail, of course. Bot said, I ain't fucking doing Anduin today. I'm just going to chill. Yeah, and <laughs> drink mimosas. I think you're right. Oh, and then we got the classic club tail. We got the classic club tail there. Okay, so beyond uh, tails, the last thing here is throats. Throat customization. So we got the uh, the fin on the bottom here. We got a thicker fin. These are like the gizzards, right? Okay, you wanna you wanna make your boy look like a lion? We got the mane. We got the lion's mane, right there. Very nice. Oh, and then this is kind of cool. Just like a thicker, um, like kind of armored neck there. Spikes, of course. Spikes on spikes are nice. The feathers. I'm not going to lie, if I pick this one, which I probably won't, but if I pick this one, the feather customization is kind of cool on him. It's unique to this model. I, I, like I said, we didn't see it on the Protos. And then the nothing, just the stripes. Very nice. And we'll, we'll keep reviewing these as we keep getting them. So far, we've seen two different models of dragons and all of their customization features, and it's it's crazy. I mean, look at it. Everyone's dragon's going to look different. This is. It seemed like just a kind of box feature like oh this is something you're gonna do but now it's starting to really look like this is gonna be a fun part of the expansion and I'm really looking forward to it all right we are almost full here 